What's up guys, so today I've got some very exciting information if you're a Red Dead Redemption fan. So just last night Rockstar announced that Red Dead Redemption will officially become backwards compatible. And actually in just a few days, so this Friday, the July the 8th, we're going to be able to play Red Dead Redemption on Xbox One. As you can see from their news post, it says, starting Friday, every Red Dead Redemption Xbox 360 owner will be able to play the game directly on their Xbox One, regardless of what version of the game they own. So Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, or Game of the Year Edition. So that means if you guys have previously bought Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox 360, and you haven't traded in your disc or whatever, you still have your disc, you can use that to play it on your Xbox One. Now to be honest, this was the one game that I actually really really wanted to play on backwards compatibility and it goes to show that that leak that happened a few months ago, I think it was in February of this year where um, Red Dead Redemption was available on backwards compatibility briefly and then it was removed and Xbox said it was a testing error, well this is probably the reason they were testing it. Now what's even better is that there's actually a huge sale going on right now on Xbox. I believe it's the summer sale where you get 40 to 60% off um, lots of different games. And this includes the Red Dead Redemption on backwards compatibility. So if you guys don't still have your original Red Dead disc, um, you can take advantage of this discount. I believe it's going to be ending on the July 11th, so don't wait too long. I'll put a link in the description to the store page if you guys want to check it out. I believe you need gold membership currently to get that discount. Now what I actually did was I went ahead and purchased the Game of the Year edition because the digital download that's on sale only gives you the base game, meaning if you want to play the DLC you'd have to buy that separately. But the Game of the Year edition actually includes both of the base game with the Undead DLC and has a whole list of other um, packs that are included in it as well, I'll put those on screen for you guys. But yeah, I thought I'd just buy the whole Game of the Year edition and that way I just get everything Red Dead Redemption sorted in the one price. It's a little bit cheaper for you guys that live in the US, I believe it's just like $25. I don't know about you guys, but I just love being able to have my games in person, I like being able to hold it and get the game art and be able to keep it forever, rather than just getting that digital download. I'll put a link to the Game of the Year edition in the description of this video so you guys can check it on Amazon, I'll put a link to the UK and the US stores if you guys want to check them out. So this announcement does kind of suck for PS4 players or PC players because you guys don't get backwards compatibility. In fact, PC doesn't get this game at all. And I've got quite a lot of games who mainly play on PS4 at the moment, so it's a shame you guys have to miss out. And I've got to say, what I am really interested in finding out more information about is the multiplayer. Because if you dare go into the online modes on PS3 or Xbox 360 right now, it's just riddled with hackers. It's kind of unplayable at the moment. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen with that. Now if you guys haven't already noticed, Rockstar has actually been teasing quite a lot of Red Dead Redemption related content on their social media pages just over the last few weeks, so I kind of had a funny feeling there'd be some sort of Red Dead announcement happening soon. I'll put a few examples of these on screen, you know they've been sharing a lot of fan art for the game, you know they've been running that hashtag Red Dead Redemption. And I wouldn't be surprised if all of this, including the backwards compatibility, was just to ramp up the hype about Red Dead Redemption, get more people playing the original, just in time for them to release or announce another Red Dead game in this series later on this year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I just think it would be perfect timing for them to announce the next game in the series as soon as the original launches on backwards compatibility. So that's all the news I've got for you guys so far. If you want to keep up to date with Red Dead Redemption, feel free to leave a like on the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.